All right, so I'm back, of course, with my April favorites. Y'all, this, <laughs> this month has been so funny because all the memes talking about like, why is this year in a hurry? Like, why is it May? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. But I will say, you know, my April favorites, y'all, I have a lot. Like, I'm looking at all of them, I'm like, yeah, your girl went a little bit crazy in April. But I'm excited because these products I 100% love, recommend, cannot wait to share with you guys my thoughts on them. And also I do wanna mention some of these products are from my Sephora VIB sales, so I will give you guys some updates. And I also have like really like fun, different recommendations and favorites of this month as well that I think you guys will like. So if you're interested, of course, make sure you go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and let's get right into it. So jumping into makeup, of course, first, I do have these liquid eyeshadows um, from Give and also House of Labs. These two, like I got from this four VIB sale, but I love them so much. So the first one I do want to mention is Bouncing Shoes from Give. And I love the inside packaging. It has like the bandana, you know, print in there that I really, really like if it focuses. Um, but this shade in Bouncing Shoes is like a light brown shade, like almost like a nude shade, honestly, for my lids, because I've been looking for the perfect nude liquid eyeshadow and of course i didn't wear it today but y'all i have been wearing this ever since i got it and it just makes my eyes pop just a little bit more look a little bit brighter so i put this shade if it'll focus um all over my lids and it just gives me like a nice nude base all right so that's that now in the crease i go ahead and follow up with the house of labs liquid eyeshadow in the shade coco matte it is so hard to find a good brown liquid eyeshadow and this one the moment i saw it and i swatched it i already knew what time it is so this one this is what it looks like with the packaging and this shade y'all like i was impressed because number one all you need is a little bit but it's super pigmented it gives you a little bit of play time to blend it out. Um, and I think it's a perfect undertone for the crease area. So y'all can see, I put the give one all over my lids and then I fall with the House of Labs in my crease and it's like the perfect nude eyeshadow. Trust me, go ahead and pick it up. You won't regret it. So my next favorite from April is from Rare Beauty. This is their liquid blush in the shade Worth. You guys know when I first got this in the haul and I looked at the outside packaging, I was like, y'all, this looks a little bit, why is my thing not focusing today? This looks a little bit, you know, light for the face. I don't know, I just thought it looked super light. It didn't look like the description, the rose, you know, color that they were talking about. But y'all, when I swatched this on the face, I was like, this looks so good. Like, it looks so good. And as I swatch it for you guys, you're probably gonna think that this shade just isn't given anything because honestly, when you swatch it, it doesn't. But when you put it on your cheeks, it does kind of blend into your skin tone and gives you like a rosy, almost like a deep rose color on the cheeks. And I love it, it's so pretty. I don't have it on today. I should have honestly worn a lot of these, but if y'all watch my video from my trying um, new products from Sephora, you will see what that looks like on me and it's so pretty. So this y'all, it is so nice. The only thing about Rare Beauty is like literally, they sell out of their liquid blushes so fast and they don't restock often. So if you do see this, go ahead and grab it y'all because I'm telling you, it is so nice. Now, I do wanna talk about the lips. I picked up some really nice lip oil slash lip glosses, and I do wanna start off with the um, Makeup by Mario. What are these called? They're Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color, and I do have two shades. I have Miss Rose and also Baby Coral. These two, like number one, I told y'all when I first um, hauled these, I was just hearing mixed reviews. Some people were saying that it was good, some people were saying that it's bad. I love these, all right? A little bit goes a long way. So we're gonna talk about Baby Coral, and I just love the packaging. It is just so cute and tiny, like, come on. <laughs> but let me swatch it for you guys, and the reason why I like this is because, like I told y'all, you just need a little bit. They are so pigmented, they are so creamy, they're very moisturizing, and they do last a long time on me. Um, I wore it the whole day and I didn't really need to like reapply it every single time, which I love. I love glasses like that where you just put it on and it will last for a couple of hours. Now that's baby coral. 
So let's go ahead and swatch Miss Rose. I just love that name. Like he knew what he was doing, okay? Because it's given that energy like Miss Rose. Um, but it's like your typical just brownie pinky shade. It is my absolute favorite. Go ahead and pair this with a dark brown lip liner and you're good to go. So I'm gonna swatch that next to Baby Coral and y'all can see what that looks like. So this here is Miss Rose, and then we do have Baby Coral. So you can kind of see the difference. My plan is to go ahead and pick up a lot of these shades because they're so pretty. I just want to start with a little bit and see if I like them, and clearly I love them, okay? Now the last lip product I do want to talk about is from Mary Beauty, and you guys didn't see this new shade that I picked up. Um, this is their Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Cara Cara. It is just... Mm. Y'all, when I saw it, I knew I had to have it, okay? So I've been looking for an orangey kind of lip oil slash lip gloss. And the Mary Beauty lip oils are my favorite, y'all, because they are lip oils, but they're pigmented and they kind of give you like that feel of a lip gloss, but it's not a lip gloss, if that makes sense. So this is the shade. You guys can see what that looks like. It is just a beautiful orangey color. And I have it on my lips today, of course. I mean, it's given orange. I had to wear this for you guys. So when you go ahead and swatch it, you can just see how pigmented that is. And it just feels so good on the lips. Like they feel so comfortable. They're very pigmented, they're hydrating. They're my favorite lip product, honestly, out there. I think it's just time to go ahead and say it. They're my favorite. I have so many in all my purses, my bags. Like I always have a Mary Beauty lip oil and it's just so funny to me because i love their lip oil so i don't know how i missed you know the shade but i'm just so happy that i have it it is beautiful it is stunning it is perfect for the summertime go ahead and grab this one so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to skincare slash perfumes but i do want to start with perfumes because i do have three that i got last month and i love every single one of them like Literally, ever since I got these perfumes, y'all, people keep telling me I smell good. And I'm just like, you know what? Thank you. Like, thank you. Because I'm actually finding scents that, you know, um, mesh well with my body chemistry. And I just, I love that for me. So the first one I do want to talk about that I didn't put in my Sephora VIP sale haul, because I got it a little bit after, is the Kaoli um, Juicy Apple Perfume. I have that on right now. And y'all, this perfume... Literally what I love about their perfumes, like whatever they tell you it's named, it's gonna smell exactly like that. So this has notes in here. It has juicy red apple, wild berries, jasmine, lychee, vanilla flower, and sensual musk. This scent, like I get a lot of travel sizes, y'all, because I'm traveling a lot um, coming up this month and next month, so it just makes sense for me. But this, you guys, it just smells so good. It smells like you just came out the shower. You smell fresh. You just smell so yummy and fruity. It is perfect for the summertime. Every time I put this on, it lasts all day on me. I can always just get a whiff of it and people compliment me so much when I wear this perfume. Y'all, <laughs> I know I say it's about a lot of perfumes, but this one, like if you're looking for the perfect summertime scent, this one will be your friend. Just go ahead and pick it up in the scent juicy apple now the next one is also from kaylee of course i had to get their young pistachio um gelato perfume this has notes of pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow cotton candy it just smells like a sweet just sweet goodness is that even a word i don't know it just smells good it smells sweet but what i like about this is the initial spray to me Mm, every time I love this. I love musky scents. Y'all know if you watch my videos, I love a good musk perfume. This has hints of musk, but it's more so of a comforting, sweet musk, okay? It is not too sweet. It is not too musk. It is right in between. And it just gives you a very comforting scent. Um, and I just love, what is it? Let me see on here. You really do get to smell the marshmallow the hazelnuts, the cotton candy, like it is a perfect blend because I don't really like really sweet perfumes. A lot of them just are too much for me to give me a headache, but this one is just a perfect blend and I just love everything about this perfume. So the hype is real. Like Kiali, like 
y'all have a fan okay i'm about to go ahead and get every single one of your perfumes because it's so good now the last perfume i do want to talk about is from ellis brooklyn this is their sweet perfume also got it in the travel size of course but this scent i didn't expect for it to be something that like i wanted to go ahead and pick up like i wasn't too familiar with the ellis sweet i mean the ellis brooklyn perfumes i was just wanting to try new scents and i fell in love with this this mm, this y'all honestly it reminds me of like jolly ranchers yeah jolly ranchers just a pop of like a burst of just flavor i don't know how to describe scents y'all i'm not that good but this gives me like a burst of just goodness and this is gonna be really great in the summer because i love really fresh fruity scents on my body in the summer and this is given just that let me actually spray it on so i can describe it a little bit better for y'all mm. yeah it's given jolly ranchers it's good for jolly ranchers like that's the best way to describe this to me and if you think about which jolly ranchers is given like the green apple slash blueberry okay but just know it's all good i'm so bad at scents y'all but just go to sephora and smell it just trust me okay a lot of y'all bought this because of me i told me you like it so that says a lot but just know your girls gonna be smelling good this summer i'm so excited like perfumes outside of makeup is like my favorite thing as of lately now jumping into the miscellaneous items i have a lot of skincare and then i have a devotional i want to talk about and one of my favorite shoes from this past month so it was a lot of fun stuff besides just makeup and perfumes and all of that so the first one i do want to talk about is the aquaba whipped shea butter um and pink sugar this is not your typical shea butter this is actually whipped and they have different scents i got the one in pink sugar because it was safe you know i feel like i would like this scent and i do of course now this is what it looks like this is the name of it i did find it in my beauty supply store y'all and let me tell you baby the shine that you get with this makes no sense number one it is a whipped butter so when you apply it on your body you actually really like um i really love the experience of applying it on my body it just feels so good so moosey i apply it all over but then the shine that it gives as well y'all it is just perfection especially for the summertime i love to glow like nobody's business so this has been doing a great job the only thing i will say about this is if you're gonna go ahead and wear it you know during the day and put clothes on make sure you apply this hours before because um it is shea butter so it kind of leaves like a residue on the body so i noticed like when i put on like my shirts or like my skirts like the oil would peek through and I, mm, it's not cute so apply this like right after your shower hours before you go ahead and put on clothes hours before you go ahead and get in bed just trust me y'all but it's just so good like it moisturizes your body it gives you like all that softness that you're looking for it smells good there's different scents i love this i'm about to go ahead and get this for my mom as well i think she'll like it um but like i told you guys just apply it hours before now the next one I do want to mention, which I've talked about on my channel before, is from Sugar Dough. This is their original sugar and paste, which you can use for your hair and your body all over, okay? This is nothing new on my channel, y'all. I just stopped using this a while back because I just forgot about it. And um, I started shaving, and then I just realized I really hate shaving my body, so I went back to this for my underarms, and I love it. I love everything about it. And I also do have their applicator, so I just go ahead and warm this for about like 15 seconds scoop it out apply it on the body and just you know sugar it no thing about this that cracks me up is like i still haven't gotten the hang of it so sometimes like when i'm sugaring i like flick the wax y'all on my wall on the floor on the mirror it just be going everywhere so y'all just tell me how you use this well because with the applicator i'm just flinging it all over and it's such a mess to do that like it makes no sense and one time like it went in the ceiling i'm like y'all this is too much 
but it's good it's good because after i go ahead and do that for weeks i don't have to you know wax my underarms it's smooth it's bald just like the way i like it now i do want to talk about you know hydrosis if you guys know my channel actually one of the videos i did i will link it above for y'all i tried a lot of things and i actually have a system that i use from dirt dry that i really like but one that i found that i really love lately is a certain dry extra strength clinical um deodorant this is a 72 hour protection deodorant and how you use this is you go ahead and shower at night make sure you thoroughly dry your underarms and i just apply this some reviews that i was reading a lot of people were saying that they were itchy underneath their arms things like that but i realized from the comments people were saying that you have to make sure that you really dry your underarms first like after the shower and then apply this and y'all it doesn't irritate me like at all and then I wake up the next day, I really don't need to apply deodorant, y'all. I don't need to do anything. I mean, I could if I want, but this gives me protection for about two days, I wanna say. My underarms isn't like sweating profusely. Like, it is just perfect. I'm like, wow, y'all. There's just, it's just crazy like how many products are out there to really help you with something that I thought I could never get help with. I hope that makes sense. Like growing up, I always thought I had to deal with this. Like I couldn't wear light shirts, but now I'm just like, literally flinging my underarms around because your girl doesn't sweat that much anymore okay i love this so like i told you guys it's from certain dry it's their extra strength clinical this one i use and i only apply at night you don't have to apply it every single day so you apply it one time skip a day apply it again and so on so i've been loving this one um this next one has been all over i think instagram and youtube this is from Thera breath this is the dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse which eliminates bad breath for 12 hours i love this y'all because let me tell you growing up i never liked mouthwash because the listerine it would be burning my mouth it was doing too much and i felt like after you did all that like your breath wasn't fresh like really fresh throughout the day you know what i'm saying this you put in your mouth it has a little bit of a tingle but nothing crazy y'all nothing crazy and i can swish up to a minute usually with listerine like you can get like 20 seconds from me and i have to spit it out this one you need to go ahead and swish for about a minute and you spit it out and it doesn't feel like your mouth is like how do i say like so minty where like if you eat right after you're gonna be like you know grossed out like it feels fresh but you can still eat right after and not get like that super minty taste i hope this makes sense but your mouth is fresh it's fresh all day no bad breath i love this for me and i know people have been talking about this a lot lately and i just finally saw it at walmart and picked it up and it's just worth the hype and you get about um 16 fluid ounces in this so this is really good and in case you don't know the story about this um, the doctor that created this actually had a daughter who had really bad breath and nothing worked for her so he went ahead and created a specific formula to get rid of bad breath and that's how we came up with this so just know it works y'all it is so good so lately your girl has been a sneaker head i love me some sneakers especially some dunks i love all the colors out there but i'm starting out with like the nudes the blacks you know all of that before i get into like the colored dunks so this one is the sand collection and i am in love because i am a new girl you know i love new shoes it's my favorite thing it goes with a lot of my outfits but this is just stunning. Like the color wave of this is beautiful. If you guys watch my most recent short, I think I uploaded it yesterday actually. Go ahead and watch that. But you can see how I styled these. And it's just going to be perfect for my girlies out there who love like a nude um, minimalistic, you know, outfit day by day. But you want sneakers to match with it. This is just absolutely perfect. And I've just been wearing it a lot. Like i love heels but i don't know like sneakers just does something to me like i feel so good when i wear some sneakers so i have to go ahead and mention these in the sand color and last but not least is probably one of my favorite um favorites <laughs> that i've included in a long time this is um he whispers your name devotional by sherry hill a lot of people have been talking about this which i didn't even know about i just went to the bookstore found a devotional that i loved and realized you know people love this as well but i will tell you why um on my channel i talk about like my faith here and there you know i'm always praising god for all the blessings and things he's just done for me like 
y'all don't even know the half of it okay because obviously online i show you guys like my highlight reels but behind the scenes like i've been going through things y'all and the lord is just the best um sherry hill wrote he whispers your name um she spent i think about like i think she said like 40 days in isolation just talking to god and spending time with him and everything she learned she puts in here and when you read this book it literally says he whispers your name because you feel like god is talking to you i am telling y'all i read a lot of devotionals you know there's nothing like this right here i'm even getting goosebumps thinking about it because every time i'm going through something and i read the next you know um page for the day because it is you know dated for each day i'm just like lord how did you know how did you know i would need this and it's like you hear him talking to you you feel him close to you it is just perfection and i'm obsessed with this i'm gonna get a lot of her devotionals because she knows how to write it to to hit that part of you that needs it and i'm just in love with this okay just go ahead to your bookstore i went to bars and nobles and i got this and it has just done wonders for me but that is everything you guys i hope you enjoyed this video y'all see i start off with makeup then skincare then perfumes then you know we were everywhere but i think you guys needed to know what i've been loving last month so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself and pick it up and let me know your thoughts of course okay i love y'all like always make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one